Hey, welcome to Ant Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're going to play Yamatai. Yamatai. You know what I want to do. No, you don't want to okay. do that. All right, Yamatai <laughs> is a uh, worker placement kind of area control game uh, designed by Bruno Cathala and Mark Paquin. Mm. Uh, published by Days of Wonder. Plays two to four players in about 40 to 80 minutes. And I think that covers it. Okay, so let's get this to the table and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome to Yamatai. Yamatai. This is a game where we are tasked with building a new capital for Yamatai out in the archipel arch archipelago? It's an archipelago. Archipelago, yeah. not the archipelago. <laughs> Not an archipelago. Oh, all right. So let's uh, let's quickly go over in standard fashion the game components, the setup, uh, and what exactly it is you're looking here and what we're trying to do. So this is Yamatai, and this is the archipelago. Mm -hmm. And what we've done to start is we've placed uh, all of these different culture tokens uh, originally at random upside down, so we didn't know what they were. Right. And we put one on every island. And then after we revealed them, certain ones have uh, little mountain symbols on them. Some of them are blank. Some of them, one of them just has a mountain. And that tells us where to put mountains um, and which ones to remove from the game. So what these really represent are different, uh, I guess, the island culture that we're going to sort of befriend or, or, mm -hmm. or take over or what have you, right, um, throughout the play. Uh, in order to um, basically build and expand on this archipelago. Arch archipelago. archipelago. We're <laughs> going to need violent. we're going to need to build uh, a number of different things. So we each have 10 of these standard buildings. And in this game, uh, in a two-player game, you're only going to use the orange and the blue character. You're not going to use the purple or the gray. Right. In a three-player you use the purple and a four-player you use the gray. Yeah, there's like just like, enough components to do it that way. Yeah. No other way. Very interesting but whatever so we have these 10 uh, um, standard buildings that we're going to try to build out there in order to build a building uh, you're going to have to reference these different cards but let's go over all the different parts of the board so far up at the top of the board we have the um, the specialist tiles and there are five out there's a whole stack of tiles behind the board that is probably off camera right now um, but these five tiles are, are going to be out every round and they're going to be replaced as we draft them but we're going to we're going to exchange culture tokens um, to get these tiles. And these tiles will give you typically their passive abilities or one-time actions you could take per turn. Uh, and we'll go through them in more detail, but um, they're always available for us to, to purchase you know, throughout the game. Uh, if we go to the bottom of the board, you're going to see we have what are called the 10 fleet tiles. There's only 10 of them. On the left, the five are revealed, and they are numbered 1 through 10. And this is very important. What you want to think of these as... Um, as your actions that you're going to be taking on your turn. So you're going to essentially take one of these tiles, collect the boats that are that are offered on the tile, and then take the optional action that comes with it. Sort of it. an optional bonus Agreed. action. Yeah. In the two-player game, we're each going to have two workers, right? Mm -hmm. or, which are going to represent two turns each. So it's going to be four turns alternate, depending on what the player order is. These tiles depending on which ones you take, will determine the player order based on the number of the tile for the following round. So it's, it's very important yeah. to decide which ones you're going to take. In the beginning of the game, we're just going to randomize uh, where our players start in turn order. The, the side on the right that are face down are going to slide in after this round, reveal, the other ones will get shuffled and placed in the, in the far right spaces. Sir. So that's that. In the upper right, you're going to see we have the, um, the building tiles. And these building tiles are going to represent the different types of buildings we can put out on the islands. In order to build um, these on the islands, there are going to need to be boats of the matching colors around the island, adjacent to that specific island that you want to build on. And you have to place a boat in one of those spaces in order to do that. And the island cannot have one of these culture tokens on it. Mm -hmm. So there's a number of prerequisites that need to be filled, but then you get to build a building. So if the building is like this blue building, they are standard buildings, and you're going to put one of your own colored buildings on that tile. If, however, it is a red building, it'll either be a Tory, which is one of these things, mm -hmm. or a palace, which is one of these. And what those do is they give you a prestige point um, just for building it, because mm -hmm. they're prestigious Settlements. But they're not technically yours. Mm -hmm. You're just building it, right? So that's that. Throughout the game, we're going to earn um, different 
uh, ways to get prestige points. We each start with ten dollars. Well, just, just throw across the board. That's cool. <laughs> okay. um, and each round is actually going to consist of a number of different actions. So if we look at the player cards, mm -hmm. so you're going to see that in everybody's player card is the same. There's just different colors with different different characters on them. So these player mats are, are basically going to have the five different actions that you can take on your turn. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you're going to be doing, and this is the order you have to do them in, right? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to draft your fleet tile, which we went over. The second thing you're going to do is have the option to trade. Now you can trade in a boat for money or money for a boat. So well, you can do that one time on your turn. Uh, there's five different types of boats in this game. They all represent different uh, materials. So you've got bamboo, you've got wood, you've got stone, clay, and gold. And those really only matters for the color. And there's in the higher the the color on the chain is the the more rare that particular boat is, and the more expensive it is if you want to actually buy one, right? So you can do that. On the third action is where you're actually going ahead and you're going to place your boats. Now there's rules when placing boats, uh, and we'll go over that once we start the game. But that's what you're going to—it's an integral part of the game, and it's the only way you're going to be able to go out and build, you know, houses or buildings rather. So that's the third action, um, and there's certain bonuses that are triggered um, based on where you place those those houses or those buildings, and we'll go over that as well. The fourth action is any extra boats you have left over, you have one harbor space to hold one boat uh, between turns. Any excess boats get forfeit and they're kept at the side of your player board. You will actually lose points for every two boats, boats you have in excess that do not fit in your harbor at the end of the game, right? And the fifth and final step is you're able to trade in two matching or three of any type of these culture tokens to get one of those specialist tiles, and that's how you draft them. And that'll be your entire turn, and it goes pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So that's it in a nutshell. How did I get into this <laughs> nutshell? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're going to go ahead and we are going to randomize the starting player, and we will start this uh, playthrough All right. off. Let's do it. Ready? Okay. All right, so what I'll just do is, what they say to do is take the four tokens, shake them up, and then mm -hmm. just randomly drop them out one at a time. So, yep. uh, Well, maybe we should one. take two of them. There's one. Okay. There's two. Three, Perfect. and four. Okay. All right. So you, me, you, me. Okay. All right. Good. So Francis is going to take the first turn. Okay. I think I've covered all the components. There's one more piece here. These are called uh, sacred ground tokens, mm -hmm. and one of the tiles, I believe it's the fifth one, um, allows you to place one of these tokens on any empty plot of land and what that token will do is it prevents anyone from building there because it creates sacred grounds. Mm -hmm. um, there's ways to get rid of it though so um, you'll see uh, if that scenario comes up throughout <laughs> this playthrough and it could very well. So. It might. All right so you're, you're ready to go you can go ahead and uh, and kick us off. I think. Excellent okay. All right. Um, okay are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna I'm going to start by taking my fleet tile, and what this does, um, it allows me to have a, a brown boat, so that's pretty self-explanatory. And then optionally, I can also take one of these buildings and set it off to the side. So I can't build it right now, but I might want to. Um, so I'll take that six, please. Thank you. And put that over here, and. Um, it's really important that I build that actually before the end of the game because I will lose points if I don't. That is right. So I will take that and then I think I'm also going to go ahead and spend one of my dollars and just buy a really cheap bamboo boat. Okay. <laughs> and um, and then I'll take my move. So I'm going to go, I'm going to start here. And we have to start at one of these kind of starting locations mm -hmm. like our boats are sailing in like this um so i'm going to start by going here and here and one we can do two things you know on our turn if we place our boat so first thing we can do is build i don't really want to do that right now um or we can take these culture tokens so i guess kind of showing like we're exploring the islands so i'm going to take these two one from here and one from here and we can take from the locations where our boats are adjacent to that we've placed so I'm going to go ahead and take these two. It's um, one for each boat. Yeah, one for each boat that I, that I placed. 
I don't have any boats left over, so I won't worry about that. But I am going to trade both of these culture tokens in. Okay. And I'm going to take Michimata, the specialist. Mm -hmm. um, so what she does is I can trade in a culture token on my turn once to get a gold boat. And gold boats are very... Gold boats <laughs> are very rare. <laughs> they are. So that'll be nice to do. Okay. So, there we go. That's cool. That. So that's your turn? Yep. All right. Okay, so for my turn, I'm going to take, I'm going to take this guy, the number 10. So I'm going to get a, uh, it's like the Neapolitan boat. <laughs> so I'm going to get a, a red, a brown, and the wild. So I can take anything I want. So I'll take a gold. I'm assuming yeah. you want gold, right? <laughs> Clearly, I will take the gold. All right, so I'm going to do a similar move where I come in from here, and I'm going to draft take two culture tokens. So I guess we're bringing culture to these islands and right. sort of we're leaving the natives of their of their lands before right. we build on it, right? <laughs> yeah. So I've got two purples going down to my fifth action. I'm going to actually, a fifth sta stage of this turn, I'm going to actually trade these two in just like you did mm -hmm. and take one of the specialists. Now these specialists are very good because they provide you with super bonuses. Super powers, yeah. I mean they're super powerful. It's it's amazing. Except for Yasoma. Yasoma, yeah, well, he's, he's got like he's all prestige. What what more could you want? <laughs> so, uh, I think I'm gonna go with Kajutsuchi. Okay. Right, because he's pretty cool. He, what what he's giving you is basically any time you build a a building nowhere near anybody else, you nowhere get nowhere near your building. Nowhere near your own yeah. buildings. Like so, it's not consecutive. Mm -hmm. You get a victory point. Yeah. So cool. that could be a pretty good engine if I. Yeah. Especially because we change. get bonuses when we build next to building next to islands that we already inhabit. Correct for building so island. you're kind of getting the inverse, chains. which is good. Yeah. So. Awesome. Nice. Okay. Uh, your go. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna take. I guess I'll take this guy. So what this allows me to do optionally is remove two boats. From anywhere on the map. Mm -hmm. So, we don't have many options for boats to remove. It also gives me a green and a black boat. And that's important because when we're placing our boats now going forward, unless you're starting, you know, in one of these starting spots, you have to start your boat trail from a color that's already on the map. You know, so, you know what I mean? I know what you mean. <laughs> Believe me, I know what you mean. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Yes, yeah, so um, you have to. So she will have to put a green one next to the other green one, yeah. or a red one coming off of this red one, uh, and then any other boat after that in the chain can can be any other color. But you also have to make sure that your line of boats is continuous and it follows the same path. So exactly. you always have to place your next boat next to the previously placed boat. Right. If that makes sense. So I'm going to place these two. I still can't really like build anything. Right. So I'm going to take these two culture tokens. Okay. And I'm going to remove this boat and this boat. Interesting. And then I'm going to cash in maybe maybe this guy for a gold boat. And okay. I'm just going to keep that in my harbor. In your harbor. In my harbor. My okay. harbor. Okay. Interesting. This is uh, pretty good. Okay, let me think about this a second. All right, so... Are I'm you going to put some boats on this map? I'm going to put some boats on this map. Oh, okay. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm going to take this one here. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take a red. Uh -huh. And what this will do is let me move one boat, one adjacent space. Right. right? So, and I can do that at any time of my turn. So I'm going to do it right now and move him up. Yeah. I also get a red boat. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I have a gold here that I kept over from my last turn, and I'm going to buy a brown boat or a wooden boat. Mm -hmm. So hand me a wooden boat. There you go. All right. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is just move some boats around. So I'm going to go here, here, and here. And I'm going to take one, two, three. Oh. And I'm going to trade these in immediately. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take this. Oh, so you're trying to Totama. Okay. So Totama, her ability is I can come in at 
any yeah you like that one anywhere on the board on the outside borders mm -hmm. I don't I could ignore this rule now because to me any of these circles on the outside of the archipelago mm -hmm. is an entryway for me right. now that I have this ability so this specialist that's what that's she great. she does for me yes. I had her last game and I really liked that yeah <laughs> um, and it, it allows me to it get like so I had to do and spend all these boats just to get three of these culture tokens I don't have to do that anymore yeah. I can come in anywhere yep. and take all the tokens. So that's, that's kind of great. my strategy. All right. Well, but, I'm glad you explained that at the beginning of the game. Uh, well, that's just, <laughs> that's just a small piece. There's more to come. Right. More to it. Than that. All right. All right. So, so that was ahead. actually both of our actions, yes. right? So we go ahead and, and we're going to go through the refresh stage, right? Yeah. So, well, yeah. So you take those. So we each have these numbers on the uh, on the fleet tiles we drafted. I'm going to move to space two and space seven. Where and are you I go going? to four and ten. Four and ten. All right. All right. Perfect. So then so these get okay. shuffled. These are going to slide down to fill in the spaces we didn't use. This mm -hmm. one stays here. These four get shuffled and are added to the end, face down, and they'll be there for the subsequent rounds. And, and we'll bring out one new building and for specialists. every specialist not recruited, they get two dollars on them. Three more will come out. Fushi Ebisu and Awashima. All right, and we only get one more building tile, so there's yep. always five. And that's really the, the reset. Mm -hmm. And we jump right in. Now we have a new turn order. Yep. And we start up the next round. Okay. And we are gonna play until one of three conditions are met. First is when we use all of our standard buildings, yes. when they're all on the board, so there's 10 of them. It sounds like a lot, but a little bit later they start to really come out yeah, quickly really once up. the board fills up with boats, right? Uh, if there are no more boats of any color. Mm -hmm. it, I mean like one is depleted. Yeah, when, yeah. Once, when one of them is depleted, which like the gold boats, for example, yeah. is pretty low, so that, that can happen quickly. Um, actually, there's four conditions. Uh, or when either the um, the building tile stack goes empty, or, or the specialist tile goes empty when we go to replenish, and that would all end at the end of that round. Mm -hmm. So, so that's it. Let's jump into round two. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm going to take this fleet token. Um, what this one allows me to do is switch the place of two ships. Um, so first, I get a bamboo ship and a clay ship. And I'm going to put them here and here. And then I'm going to, oh, that's perfect. I'm going to switch these two like that. And I'm going to put my gold ship out. And then I'm going to build that palace. This one here? Yes, that one. All right. Thank you. So. Oh, actually, it's a Tory, right? It's a right? Tory, yes. All right, so we'll put that there. It's so beautiful. And with any of the Tories or the palaces, you get a prestige mm -hmm. point. Plus, I built it on a mountain, so I get another one. And you get a prestige point for building on a mountain. Thank you. Um, and then with this, this just goes face down on our player side, and we score those at the end of the game, yep. along with our fans. All my fans. All my fans. <laughs> <laughs> it's with all my fans. Um, and I'm going to trade this guy in. Not yet. Are you sure? I'm sure. Pass. Go. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to take hmm what do I want? What do I want? I guess I'll take this one. So this is I get a wood and bamboo boat. Mm -hmm. And I get to swap the places of two culture tokens. Culture tokens. So there you go. They don't have to be adjacent, but I thought yeah. that it doesn't matter. So those are swapped. Mm -hmm. I'm going to now place these two boats. Where do I wish to go? Do I want to build? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. That's is that a yeah? That's a black. Two and a black. Two and a brown. Two reds and a brown. Two reds and a black. Wow. I really can't unless I buy. Maybe I will. I'll spend four. So I'm allowed to buy a ship. Mm -hmm. I'll buy a red ship. Okay. Please. 
You spent four dollars on that? Yeah, why not? Alright. It's a red ship. It's cool. So I'm going to go. Well, I'm kinda of limited in where I can build here. Why? You can start anywhere. I know, but I can't. Maybe you want to build something. I want to build something. Mm -hmm. Like I need to get, sh I need to get something out here on the board. I understand. So I can go. I need two reds. So I'll just go, I'll go brown, green, red. So I got two reds and a brown. Right. Okay. So I'm building this, putting one of my houses out here. That's it. Very good. Simple. It's my turn. Hmm. Darn it. There's like no culture tokens up by where I'm at. <laughs> like slim pickings in the boat department. I'm going to take this black boat. All right, that ability lets you look at the top three of this deck. And it does. Them. Yeah, here. Do you I'll... wish to do that? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, here. Let's see. You can put them in and a... I paid you a dollar because I'm buying a bamboo boat. Okay. And you can put those in any order you want, or you can remove move some to the bottom of the stack. It's a pretty nice ability. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, here you go. All set? Yep. All right. Hope so. <laughs> I hope so, too. I hope so. All right, I'm going to go black boat, green boat. Oh, that's the one I wanted. And I'll take the culture tokens as my move, but I only get this one. Okay. It's the only one that's adjacent. I, like, sailed all that way. I know, to get that, that one. Bang straight. Um, but I'm going to pay these two mm -hmm. and take Awashima. Oh, you like that one. I do. Um, so what Awashima does, and we haven't had this happen yet, but when we have these standard buildings adjacent to each other, we actually get bonus points. You get kind of like payment, you get a you get a dollar you know, per for each one that's adjacent. And what she allows you to do is actually use these palaces and and tories as adjacent buildings as well, almost like you own them as standard so, buildings. Yeah, yeah, for scoring purposes, they get those bonuses. Yeah. So that's nice. It's it a good way to earn a lot of money. It is. Very quickly. If you want to. Yep. So I'm going to just grab this guy. So he's all he comes with is the bamboo boat. So I'll mm -hmm. take a bamboo boat, please. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pay a dollar and buy another bamboo boat, if you will. Okay. And I'm going to place my boats, and I'm going to come in from this side here. One, two. Grab both of these, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to trade them in for Fu. She. You like that. Well, I can't let you have that combo. I know. So, <laughs> That's what I did last time, and you were like, no. Yeah, it can't happen. So Fu Shi, what he does is he allows you, at the end of the game, for every $5 you have, you are gonna you get a, a victory point. What he does standard, is... Yeah, yeah, standard. What he does is allow you to get one victory point for every $3 you have mm -hmm. instead. If you have that coupled with the Awashima. Awashima, that allows you to get a ton of dollars yeah, and, it does. and a ton of money. You know, this ends up scoring you big points towards the end. Which Anthony learned last time. Which we can't have. When I did it. So I will have to do something about it this time. <laughs> okay. All Good. Right. Way to manage manage your opponent. Yeah, you have to. Good job. You have to. Okay. All right. So that, that actually ends it. So we're going to go ahead and rearrange our... I'm three and eight. What do you have? Guys here, I'm one, one and six. And six. So we'll slide these down. I see you're also trying to make it so that we're not like getting double turns. Oh, I'm, I haven't tried that yet. Like, no. not consciously. Yeah. Because you could sometimes set we'll it up. We'll talk about so that. Get, later, yeah, you'll see but... you get double turns, which is powerful. 
It's great. Yeah. So these guys, we haven't taken any of these. So these start to get pretty nice when you don't take them because they become worth a lot of money. The last game we played, I got that Fushi, and he had like so many dollars on him. He did. It was ridiculous. Already. <laughs> but you got half of it because that other guy. That's true. All right. Which was nice. So you're actually up first this time. Uh, okay, let me... You want to refresh that? Yeah, I'm just making some room here, because okay. as you can tell, this game is massive. Yeah, it's like the table. All right, so we're good. I am the first player. Let me think about what I want to do here. All right, I am going to take this one. So I'm going to get a brown and a black boat. Mm -hmm. And what this one does is it allows me to build a building for one less resource cost. So I'm going to place my brown here and my black here. And actually, mm -hmm. no, I'm going to hold on to my black. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. Can Why? I? Yeah, I can. Are you trying that. to build there? I totally can, yeah. If you keep your black, you can do that. Yeah, I'm going to keep my black. Why can't? Because this would be the last boat that you placed. Doesn't no, it? any boat you place. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. has to be. So as long as one of your boats that you've placed this turn is adjacent to the island you want to build on, you can oh, build okay. on that island. It doesn't have to be the last boat you place. All right. Um, so I'm going to build here and I'm going to build this Tory. Mm -hmm. This Tory normally requires me to have one of every color there. I don't have black there, but the, the bonus, the number nine uh, yeah. fleet tile I could, I can do it for one less, so I can build there. So I'll build the Tory, like right next to your Tory. <laughs> I'll get a victory point for building that, or a prestige point, but that's it. Yep. And I'm going to keep this guy in my, my harbor. So we can stash one guy. Yeah. Another thing to note, if you build one of your standard buildings next to a Tory or a palace, you get a bonus uh, prestige point as well. Mm -hmm. So, all right, you're up. Correct. All right. I am going to take this guy. So I get a bamboo boat and black boat. Mm -hmm. And... I can get rid of two boats, but you can do that at any point on your turn. Yep. And I'll wait to do that. I'm going to pay a dollar for another cheapo boat. The bamboo, so cheap. The bamboo boat. And I'm going to put these here, here. Well, you want here. these and I'm taking tokens, these. huh? You really want the tokens. I do. All right, so I'm take those. Um, okay. Now I can kill some boats. You can. I'll take... Maybe you like this one that I just put down. I like sank. Hmm. And then I'm going to trade. Oh, these aren't the same, are they? No, they're not. They're similar oh. colors, but not the same shapes. That's you could lame. trade in all three of them. I could, but I don't want to. Okay. Oh, that's crap. And I don't remember <laughs> where they came from. Because I would have just gone in the other direction. Oh. Damn it. Yeah. All right, well. Yeah, that's really odd that they chose colors so close. It like is. these are very close. Like, very and the close. shapes are close too. I know, that's why I'm like ah drats. That stinks. Alright, well I'm gonna trade all these in. Okay. That's fine. And I'm gonna take Tomoe Tomoe. Ah, that's a good tomoe. one. So this one just allows you to pay five dollars to get a gold boat. Usually during your trading action, um, which is like your kind of step two of your turn. You can't pay for gold boats, and you can't cash in gold boats for money. And she allows you to do that. Yep. She's like super skilled. I guess she's a, she's person. a good trader. She's a trader, trader. 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 <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. This is pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna take a red boat, please. Uh, the clay, the clay aching boat, and I'm going to. Just go here. One and a two. Boom, boom. One and a two. And I'm just going to go ahead and build this okay. for two reds and a black. One, 
of my standard houses will go here. Mm -hmm. It is adjacent to a Tory, mm -hmm. so I do get a prestige point. Yep. It is also adjacent to another one of my mm -hmm. buildings. See, two bucks. Standard, so you get... The minute you create a chain of buildings mm -hmm. greater than one, so your second building in a row that's adjacent, and adjacent is ignores corners. It only goes through adjacent. Right. So these are adjacent, so I get one dollar per building so that's two bucks mm -hmm. the next building i put in that row will give me three bucks and so on you create a group of buildings so it's a good way to earn some money mm -hmm. uh so that is it i believe yes done done -zo. done and done and it is right. your turn how much money do i have plan on making big moves here Yeah, I'm making so many big moves. <clears throat> I'm gonna use this guy, this fiber. Ah, uh, that's the golden fleet. Yes, this is the golden compass. <laughs> I get to take the gold boat. Yes, that's one of the only ways to get the gold boat yeah. early on. And you also get and to put down one of these. Yes, this is the sacred ground token. Yes. So what this means is uh, nobody can build there. Correct. Essentially, and I think I'll put that there. No, oh, you blocked me out. I did. All right. Um, so I'm also going to use my trade action mm -hmm. to purchase a gold boat. Okay, for, for five gold. Yeah. Wow. Oh. That's a shame because you just blocked yourself out. Ah, I did. Oh, man. I did, didn't I? You sure did. <laughs> I was wondering why. Why didn't you stop me? Uh, because I was going to actually go <laughs> for that. That's not how this works. Yeah, that's, not kind of, that's really not how this, <laughs> this game works, actually. Okay. Yes, I'll let you take it. All right, so... Can I take it back? You could take back your secret ground blocking token that you want to block me with and then ended up blocking yourself with, so... <laughs> you could put it somewhere else. I was, I was trying to be strategic. I'm usually not like that. I can't even really... Well, I can do that, I guess. Well, you can put it anywhere right, you want. I'm just going to put this here. I'm going to save my other boat. I didn't even really have to buy another yellow boat. That's kind of dumb. It's really dumb. Put this so find this. a good place to block me. What? So find a good place to block me. I don't like thinking that way. <laughs> I don't know. Where, where does it look like we need some sacred ground? Like uh, I don't know. There? Really nothing built over there. There's really not. I mean, it's... There, I there guess. Right. That's fair. All right. Anyway. Also, I don't like taking moves back. I feel so like, bad about that. I'm going to build this now. I have two reds and two yellows. Okay, so that's the All first right. palace so on palace. the board. Yeah. So, palace on the board, it's that comes with I to do, a prestige point. It does. It's not the worst move you could have done. It's not the worst. I'm just, I wanted. Mm. You wanted more. I get so frustrated because I forget that, like, you can't, like, I get like 10 steps ahead of myself. Yes. And that's the thing like, about this game. But there's you... only green boats out there and you can't build anything. Nope. All right. All right. So that ends Is the that round. Good? Very good. Okay. I've got four and nine. And I have five and seven. All right. Wow, you get a double turn. I'll do. So here's these. All right. So I'll shuffle these up. Can bring the rest of those down. One more. Okay, so we only ended up buying one specialist that round, so everybody else is going to get two bucks. Cool. This guy is getting expensive mm -hmm. in a good way. And some more buildings. Ooh, okay, so we don't have any. I thought that was a trading post. No trading mm -hmm. post out yet. That, yeah, that'll be a cool. cool. You'll see, that's a good way to earn some cash. Yeah. Fast cash. Fast cash. All right. 
So, what do I want to do here? Hmm. Let me think about this a second. All right. So, I'm just going to go with this guy. The three boats. So, I'm going to take the Neapolitans. Are <laughs> um, we playing Gallerist? Yeah, pretty much. I'm you want go. gold? Yeah, I'll take a gold. And it's like the worst boat because it's like the 10 spot, so mm -hmm. that's where you're going. But I'm going to come in a different way here on the edge. So I'm going to come in from up here and hold on to my gold in my harbor and just take these two. You find Susando. I am actually not. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take Idris Elba here <laughs> with the $4. And what this little boy does, the little fishing boy, uh, whenever I take the culture tokens, I get an extra one. You're taking all of my specialists from last time. Well, they're we're not talking strategy anymore. <laughs> they're kind of the same ones out there, so <laughs> it's, I'm bound to get the ones that you have. Uh huh. Uh, Susanda's really good though. He, he jacks up the price that you get for selling the uh, clay and the stone boats. Yeah, he's pretty. By cool. a lot. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. That's a strategy in itself if you actually, you know, make. Like points for Fusi. money. If you have Fusi, yeah. Susando. Well, it was my strategy really last time because I was just building like massive chains of buildings. That was, yes. Lots of money and then getting lots of points. Anyway. So uh, you actually get a, a double turn now. I so do. This is big. Okay. These moves may be or may not be related. All right. Um, let me take the number eight. So that gives me a bamboo boat and a red boot. And I have this yellow boat from before in my hava. So I'm going to go here, there, there. And then what this number eight allows me to do is to swap location. Mm -hmm. So I will do that. I'm going to swap these two like that. And I'm going to build the palace. Okay. Okay. That is worth. So that is worth. A prestige point? Prestige point? Two prestige points, actually. No, just Two, one. Two, just one, yeah. It's yeah. Because just... um, you built the palace. You don't get it for building it next to this. Because, well, well, actually, that considers you get the home bonus. You do. I get the stand standard I get bonus. the standard bonuses for those buildings. So I get another one because that's technically also like kind of mine. Mm -hmm. And then I've also created a chain. Of three. Of three. So I do get $3. So you treat them, you, you treat those as if they were your standard buildings. So, yep. Okay. So that was your first turn. Hmm. I have to do it again. Mm hmm. All right. I'm not like entirely sure about this. I guess I'm sure. Um, I'm gonna take this number one guy. So I get the bamboo boat. All right. And I'm just gonna put my little bamboo boat right here. And I'm gonna build that number two cottage. Build a little cottage up here. It's a black, black, green. That's right? two browns. That's brown? Yeah. I sorry. Can't... Oh no. Yeah, really? so take that back. Oh. It looks black from here. It does, but they're brown. Feel colorblind. No, it's hard to see. They're they're really hard to tell. But if I hold this one up next to it, now do you see the difference? Yeah, of course. I think we had issues with that before. It's just the way the, the angle and the glare. I know. So you took that back? Yeah, I just took it back. Completely. Okay. So. All right. Then I'll take this. I'll take the brown boat. The poop boat. And then I'll go here. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, this allows me to take for you know for later. I'll take that number four building up there. Okay. Save that over here, and I will clear this guy. Hmm. Yeah. I see what you did there. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Yeah, that's a pretty tough, tough move. I'll agree with that. Huh. All right. 
all this build up about double moons and that was like really crappy. Yeah, yeah, that was interesting. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take, these are really not that great. I know. Unfortunately. I'll take this one. And take a green boat, please. Yeah. And I'm gonna buy a wooden boat for $2. And I'll just come out here and do the needful. And just go like that. Well, really, you placed your brown boat first there. I did. Well, yeah. Well, you don't want to confuse people. Okay, sorry. <laughs> brown and then green. Okay. And then I'm going to build this guy, which will be a standard home. And I actually get a bonus from being out in the middle of nowhere. Yes. So I actually get one of these guys. That's good. Prestige point, because I'm nice. building like a hermit's cottage. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. That's so, it. All right. Uh, we are at the end of the round. So I'm on the 1 and the 10. Oh, I took the far end and of the I'm spectrums. And I'm on the 2 and the 8. Wow. Again. Yep. Not good. These double turns are killing me that you're taking because it doesn't nice. let me kind of stack well, moves. Well, that's the thing is it's like... Well, it's like kind of area control, right? So it is really having yeah. double like a, an opportunity to go twice without having somebody come in and mess up your plan. Yeah, that's huge. Is really good, especially when you have the plan. Yeah, when you do have a plan. <laughs> okay, so we have. Who do we bring out next? Bringing out Ananda. All right. Oh, okay. That's an interesting one. So uh, we also get some more house time. Explain what Amanda. See, so like that's two browns and a black. Yeah. Three blacks. Right. Oh, there's our first trading post. Yeah. Nice. So, all right. Oh, cool. I, I will kick us off. Yeah. All right. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this guy. So if I can have a green and a black boat, so it'll be a bamboo and stone, right? Okay. I'm gonna pay a dollar and buy another bamboo boat, if you will. Okay. I get to destroy two boats. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna destroy this one and this one. Okay. And I'm going to place one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And here I'm going to build mm -hmm. a trading well, post. That's good. Right? So what the trading post does is on these chains, instead of getting paid $1 for this build, I get to pay get paid $2 per building. So it just gets an extra buck per. And where I would normally get one, two, three dollars. I'm actually going to get two, four, six dollars. That's it. Okay. And for each adjacent Tory or palace, mm -hmm. I get a prestige point. Yep. So I get two prestige points for that. Good. Two. All right, cool. Excellent. Your turn. Okay. I'm like rubbing my hands together like I'm scheming. <laughs> It's weird. It is weird. Okay. I'm going to take this one. So I get a bamboo and a wood. And that's the one that lets me switch to culture tokens. Correct. Um, which well, I guess I'll do momentarily. But I'm going to build here. Here. Okay. And... Doesn't like us. What does it really matter? Um, you want that one? What? What do you swap? No, me? I'm just gonna swap these two. Oh really? Yeah, why not? Oh, all right. It's whatever. Um, and I feel like they do have to be adjacent. And I'm gonna take this one. They don't. And this one, I guess. I thought you were gonna change. All right. What? To get two of the same ones. I have two of the same ones. Oh, they were both the same? I, I already had a green one. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see why. Yeah. Okay. This doesn't matter. Um, so I got my tokens. I'll pay you these two, and I'm going to take Ananda. All right. From the land Ananda. <laughs> really? 
<laughs> so what is... All right, so his cool. so Ananda's ability, who's this one, who you're not going to see because it's going to be off the camera. Um, basically what this specialist does is whenever Anthony wants to build adjacent to one of my structures, which I don't have any of my own structures out right now, mm -hmm. um, he has to pay me $2. Okay. So there you go. So there you go. So there you go. Now for your second turn. And now for turn. my second turn. I am going to take this guy. Mm -hmm. The yellow boat again. And put it here. And I'm going to build this extra building that I have right here. Okay. So that will be there. Um, now I get three victory points. Three prestige. prestige. For building next to these things. Yep. And I also get adjacency because they are my buildings, kind of. So you get four so bucks. I get one, two, three. I get six bucks. Uh, no, yeah, three bucks. Oh, yeah, and four for the guy, for the house. You're right. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking trading post. I know, you're Since always, that trading you're post, always you thinking trading post. <laughs> you double your money all the time. All right, and then I have one of those sacred ground tokens that I can put down, because I took number five. Oh, you took the gold boat? Mm -hmm, I did. Oh, okay. And I'll put it... Just put it wherever you're planning to build next. What? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, that works for me. I'm sure it does. Uh, I'll put it up here. Okay. Okay. Interesting. That was your second turn. That was... It was. You have two... Uh, my second turn. You have um, two fleet tokens. Yeah. Do you want to trade in for a golden boat? Because you can still do that. I know. That's what I was thinking about. But I don't think I'm going to because I'm not coming across these tokens as quickly as I have in the past. All right. And we're also not getting the... The palaces and stuff out as frequently as we were before, so. That okay. is true. Okay. That is true. Okay. So, I'm actually going to... Hmm. This is, this is actually really tough. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me think about this a second. All right, I'm going to take this, this number three, and I'm going to get to look at the top three and rearrange them and actually get black or a stone boat. If you'll give me a okay. stone boat, please. Uh, I'm actually going to buy a second one, so if you could give me two, black two boats. stone boats. Yeah, the stone boats. They're big pirate ships. They do. I don't know why, but... <laughs> the black pearl. Yeah. Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm anyway. going to actually build one here and one here. Okay. And get the three black boat Kay. palace. So I'm going to build this guy. Not really a palace. Well, no, not really. It's like the house. It's like a residence inn. The residence inn. <laughs> <laughs> so I get a prestige point for building on a mountain. Mm -hmm. And I get no adjacency bonus because they are connected just by a corner. Yeah, but you get a prestige point because they're not adjacent. Don't Correct. You? As long as they are not adjacent, right. I get a prestige. Yeah. Because so you of still get it. Kajutsuki. That's why I said it's like the inverse. Yes. You always get that. Which is good. I always get something just for building a hus. The hus. The hus. All right. I think that's it for me. All right. So I can look at the top three though, actually, mm -hmm. and see about what I want to do here. Interesting. Huh. Okay. I think I can bury one. Oh, you can. I can. I'm pretty sure I can. I will. Double check that, but I'm almost positive I can. Okay. All right, so let's um, let's set up the game All right. for the new for the new uh, turn. All right, yeah, let's reset. So it. you put it under there. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, you can put it on top, on the bottom, in I any order you want to stick it in for those three. I could shove all of them on the bottom; it doesn't matter. So you can bury it or what have you. So okay. in any case, I'm on the three and seven. Okay, and I'm on the five and six. All right. You keep doing these double turns. I do. It's really well, you're like making it painful. Talking strategy. You have like no strategy now. <laughs> so it's kind of like a new strategy every time. Because you always 
learned from me so much. Oh, really? Because it win, you get mad. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I don't think I'm the one who gets mad when you he loses. Don't. You know you don't. <laughs> no. Somebody else kind of gets a little mad when they lose. All right. All right. One, two, <laughs> three, four. Wow. We need to start getting these specialists. Hey. That's, wow, they're like so famous. What? What? That was crazy. This guy wants out so bad. <laughs> he does. It's Eurasian. It's the Raging Cajun. All That's right. so awesome. Nice. Trade two boats for a gold. Sweet. Okay. All right, so Kay. I you're, started you're again? Off. Yep. All right, I need to um, think again. about this. Again. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. All right, I want to take this and a clay boat, please. Okay. I could move a boat one adjacent space, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I'm going to go here. And... Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to pay you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to build next to you. Oh, yeah. So here's $2. Okay. And I'm going to build this two gold and one red fancy, but fancy little house right here. Fancy little house. So I'm going to get a prestige point for the mountain and a mm -hmm. prestige point for building it away from every one of my other buildings. Mm -hmm. And a prestige point for the palace. And a prestige point for the palace. You're welcome. And a prestige point just for being a, an awesome house. Stop. Oh, I don't get that? All right. So. Oh, that awesome. <laughs> oh, well, it's kind of <laughs> awesome. All right, that's it. That's all? That was my big move. That was your big that old was move? was like huge. It's huge. <laughs> it so was weird. good. That was good. All right. Um, why? buildings coming out. I don't know. Are you burying them? <laughs> Maybe I am. Because <laughs> I feel like you're burying them. Would you like a moment? Yeah. Okay. For my first move, which boat do I want to take? Ugh. I kind of don't. I like had a plan. It escaped you? It's escaped me. No, it's not escaped me. I'll do this. All right, I'm going to take this number nine fleet. Because I know you love that one. I do. It's the build for one less the resource. Build for one less resource card. That is a good one. It is. It's very good. Um. But I kind of have all the resources <laughs> I need <laughs> for all the buildings I can build. That's all right. What are you going for? I'm going to go black, brown, mm -hmm. and... These other ones need red. You actually, yeah. So you could build either one of these two. Mm -hmm. It's your choice, really. Yeah, it's like, is the other point really worth it? Uh, um, yeah, I would probably go for the three pointer. <laughs> well, I'm gonna build that one too. So. Oh, okay. Well. Um. What might matter? What I put these here and here. Mm -hmm. What I might do actually is do this instead. Black brown. Oh, that's a good move. Right, yeah. and I'll build that. Two, number two building because that needs an extra brown so yeah. I'm actually utilizing the card. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so I will put my structure there mm -hmm. and I get a, a point for building it on a mountain mm -hmm. and a point for building it next to the Tory. Mm -hmm. We're running out of these. And I also get one, two, three, four. Five bucks. Five bucks. Cool. There you go. Thank you. And this goes there, that goes there. And then for my second action, for my second trick, I will take Neapolitan ice cream. Neapolitan ice cream boat. Yeah, I'll do that. 
It's a lot of boats. There's a lot of boats. A lot of like, boats. I don't, actually, I don't really need that many boats. It's all the boats. Okay, that is like all the boats. Um, I think I'll go with the one, actually. The one of the boats. One of the boats. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what's happening. Right now. I don't know. Oh, because I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. I'll do that. All right. Uh -huh. Let's take this guy. All boat. right. Bamboo boat. Boom. I'll take that three. Yeah. And put that there. There you go. So I get one, two, one three, point four, five, six for adjacency. Dollars. One adjacency and six bucks. There Thank you go. You. Very good. So that's the end of your turn? That is the end of my turn. So yeah. All right. So now I can take some actions. All right, what I'm going to take the eight, so I will need a bamboo and a clay ship, please. Yes, sir. And I will pay you a dollar for a bamboo ship. Uh, you don't have to pay me. I don't oh. have any I'll pay the bank. I mean, I'll take it, but... All right, so I have three boats. So I okay. also have the ability to swap two boats. Yes. Any two boats. Any two you want. Yeah. So I think I'm going to swap these two guys. Okay. Just because... I don't like in there. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take this guy and this guy and maybe this guy here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go one, two, three. And because I have the ability to, I'm going to take an extra one. You four. took the extra one that I needed, didn't you? On purpose? No, I oh. took the extra one that I needed because I wanted two sets. Oh. I would never do that on purpose. I So I'm going to trade two in at mm -hmm. the end of my turn for Yasoma with $8. <laughs> He's just worth four points. That's ridiculous. That is totally ridiculous. All right, that ends my turn. All right. And that ends right. the round. So I'm on the four and the eight. Okay, and I'm on the one and the nine. Oh. So we're back to a normal. No, we're not. Oh, now you get double turns. Oh, yeah. So, oh, no, we're not. Oh, right. First time I get a double turn. It's crazy. It's getting real close to the wire here, folks. Getting down and dirty. Yeah, folks. All right, so I gotta drop two bucks on everybody. Hold on. I don't have enough money. Oh. One, two, three. In here. Let's cash in. Two, four, oh, okay. six, eight, ten. Uh, one more in the first guy, right? All right. Yeah. Here's one for the first guy, and we each get ten. There you go. Thank you. Oh my god, somebody needs to buy Hatsuka. Because <laughs> she's worth all the money. Okay, let me get some more buildings. Okay. Oh man. Oh, there's your training post. Now we're talking. Two of them. What? Nope, just kidding. It's not. Is that a brown boat or a black boat? Uh, on the so post? it's all browns out except for that one. That's black. Okay. All right, so I get to go first. No, you get to go first. Yes, I oh do. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you were so happy. I was going to build everything. Okay. You were like, oh, isn't that wonderful? That was such good timing. That's so good. All right. You're up. Okay. All right, I'm going to take this guy. So I get a wood boat. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to build the trading post. Please. Mm-hmm. And I'll get one prestige point for being close to the Tory. Mm -hmm. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen dollars, please. All right. And that's it. Your turn. My double turn. Your, t your double turn. <laughs> this is this is big. I hope you're ready to impress. I don't know if I can. Why are we so, so many prestige buildings left? Uh, what do you mean? I, don't know, I feel like we have. What, three of them? Yeah, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like three of them? that's only three. That's I not guess. many. Right. I really haven't built any. It's, I know. You've been building them. They haven't really come up. They haven't. That's a weird thing. So I'm going to go with the old Neapolitan ship. 
Yeah, the tenor. The tenor, and I'll take. I'll take an extra red this time. Okay. So I'm gonna go. One. Two. And hold on to my red. Okay. And I'm gonna build the two red and brown building here. And I gotta pay you two bucks for mm -hmm. that. And I get a I don't know why you didn't just go there and build it here, but why? Why just didn't go where? Oh, like build it out here yeah. on its own? I don't know. I get a prestige point for that. Um, Why do you get a prestige point? Oh, because it's not near your building. Correct. Okay. Correct. And my next turn, I'm going to take this. And I get a black and a green. Okay. Please. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to kill two ships. One. And... Another building. Mm -hmm. Two reds and a black. Nice. Here. And it's just worth two dollars for me. Mm -hmm. Alright? Cool. And I'm going to trade in my two mm -hmm. thingies. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have Suka? I do. That's <laughs> a lot of money. I'll, That's I'll, a lot. Yeah, I'll, I'll take. I'll take. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? I'll take it to go at this point. Are you point. sure? Yeah. You're positive? Yeah, I'll take All it. All right. Yeah. Well, you have that good money conversion, so it's like, why wouldn't Correct. you? Correct. I would have. Two, four, six, eight, ten. She had twelve dollars on her. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Too that's much. my double turn. All right. That's so good. So it is now yours. Nicely done. This isn't what I want to do, but I feel like it's what I have to do. So our cult, uh, for some reason, our culture tokens are like all spread out, <laughs> all over the place. They are. Um, I'm gonna take the three. So I have the black, the black boat, and I'm gonna spend two dollars and purchase myself a, oops, a brown boat. All right. And, uh, now I'm gonna go here and here. I'm gonna so take I those. Take these two. Oh jeez. Okay. You gonna trade them in? Um, not right now. Okay. What does he do? He just you remove those things. Yeah. Yeah. He lets you. Today. He lets you get rid of these sacred grounds. Yeah, I'm not doing that yet. Okay. Well, that's the end yeah. of the round. I am on seven and ten. Okay, and I'm on two and three. So you've got the first double move, and I got the second. Cool. Take those. Slide these down. Oh, and on my, I got to peek at those tiles too. So can yeah, I you want to look at the top three yeah. before I reset them? Yes, thank you. All right. I will I'm actually fine with the order of this. You are. Yep. Oh, that's not good. There you go. These are three, right? Yeah. Well, they're all coming out. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. So the order doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, there you get your, yeah. your little shack. Um, oh, so who, only Nakatsu came out? Yeah, well, only it's one was bought. It's a thing without us buying them. Like, the other guys aren't really coming out. Us? What? You only bought three. <laughs> I bought four. Oh, you bought four? Yeah. I bought six. We bought a lot. I know. It's about what we normally buy. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, about five or six of them. That's about all you have time for. I don't know, there's like one I really. Need. I've only got two houses left, so just to give everybody an idea of the timing just here. No. There's only like four gold ships left, mm -hmm. uh, so we are getting. We're getting there. Down in the nitty gritty, and actually, if we would have bought three more of these guys, mm -hmm. they would have run out too. So these are all the end game triggers. So I think we're really 
we're like a round or two away from the end of this, so. Yeah, I know. All right, you want to kick us off? Yep. I'm gonna build that two right there for one less because that was the power of yep. that thing. Okay. First move. Yep. I'm like sweating. Why? Because it's like so close. I'm gonna take the one yep. building with one green ship yep. here and build that trading post. There. And that's gonna be. One victory point. Uh, yeah, the last one. The last point. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, oops, seven, eight, nine, eighteen dollars, please. Okay, here's twenty. And here's two. All right. That was a big turn that of events. All right. And I'm. I'm gonna stay. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna stay. I'm not gonna do anything else. Oh man! All right. So basically, it's all up to me now, right? Yep. Okay. This is simple enough. If you build both your buildings. I might be able to actually. Really? Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, all right, so I think I'll start with, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to do this. I'll take this guy. So I get a green and a brown, please. Mm-hmm. And I get to swap two of these tokens around, but I'm not really sure if it matters at this point. But I'm going to, oh, man, I don't really need these green boats, unfortunately. So I need two browns and a black. Ooh. All right, so I will. Oh my God, that's terrible. All right, I'm gonna need to buy with three gold a black ship. Mhm. Mm right. Okay. Fortunately, I gotta go there. Or did I want to go there? Yeah, I see. That's the problem. Mm, no, take that back. You take that back. You take that back. Take my three dollars back. Enough of this nonsense. One, two, uh, two. It really doesn't matter. Three. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna build here. Okay. This one. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna give me two dollars. Right. I don't get the bonus because there's no more bonuses left. There's right, no more my, prestige to be that's had. It's my first turn. <laughs> so I'm going to take this for my second and get a red ship, please. Okay. And I'm going to place that red ship right here. No, I'm not going to do that. Why did I build there? That's not where I wanted to build. Are you sure? Yeah. You can put your red ship there because you can enter from anywhere. Oh, I can? But that's not where I... That's not oh, right. yeah, because you can't. You were trying to build them both on the same Oh, no, thing. that's. that's No, I can do that. I can build it here. I just have to place a ship. Because okay. I'm going to build here. Okay. And the ship is next to here, so I'm good. I just had to build a ship there. You So you're not building a building? I am. Right here. Oh, okay. I needed to build a ship oh, next to this needed, land. I see what you mean. I see right? What you so mean. I had to place a ship next, yeah. adjacent to the land I want right, to build right. on, but I'm using these three boats right. to build the building. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Right? So two browns and a black. That's what I had in my head. And I'm going to get. One, two, three dollars for that. Okay. And that's it. That's my last ship. My last building. <laughs> You're like your last ship? It's my last ship. Your last ship. Um, your lost ship. Uh, so I that ends, so. My, I would have. Ah, 
Let's see, we would get to finish out the end of the round. Yeah, but that was the end of the round. End of so now we're we're done. Okay. That 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 triggered end game. Buy any more people? I can't, uh, I can't. I don't have any. I would have bought a, another person. I thought we were going to go another round. Mm. Oh well. I didn't know I was going to be able to finish it, but that's how the end goes. It, that it, is. It's it, like goes. really quick. Okay. Two, three, f two, four, six, eight. I just want to trade in some money okay. for tens. Yeah, me too. It'll just be easier to count at the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to count this up, and we'll show you how end game goes. Ten. End game scoring. It's pretty quick actually yeah, <laughs> to score nice. this up. So. Let's uh, let's get ready. Okay. All right. So, due to the fact that there is no score sheet, there's no score sheet. And you know how we feel about that. We're going to use these handy dandy iPhones calculators, <laughs> as opposed I mean, to. We don't endorse. No, we don't. <laughs> we certainly don't. All right. Uh, so what we have um, is a number of categories we're going to score on very quickly. So, right, the first thing we score are one victory point for every five coins. And in my case, I get to score one victory point for every three. So just yes. count up your okay. money. 20, 30, so I have 33, that's 11. Oh, my mom texted me. <laughs> okay, well, okay. Um, <laughs> two, three, four, five, 53. So 53 divided by five is 10, so you have 10 points. Okay, 10 points. Yep. How many did you have? 11 points. 11 points. Oh, so okay. it wasn't that Sounds big. Good. Yep. So uh, one victory point for each prestige token. So you just count these up real quick. One, two, three. Can you count yours in your head? <laughs> Oops. Whoa. Okay. All right. So... Next is we get victory points for each of our constructed buildings. So we are going to flip over our stack of buildings. And we will add them up. Okay. Okay. And now we get victory points for each specialist. So certain specialists have victory mm. points on One, them, two. right? So. And now we get minus victory points for any building you had in reserve that you weren't able to build. Okay. We get minus one point for that, which neither of us had. And we get minus one victory point for every two unused boats that we would have had. So if you had, if you had yeah. kept boats over across rounds, that would have been it. Yeah. That's the final score. 57. 61. That was much closer than I was. Way game. close. Yeah, that was good. That was good. That was a very tight playthrough. Yeah. So let's go talk about this. All right. Well, there you have that it. That was close. Yamatai. That was really close. Skin of my teeth. Skin of, yeah, skin of your teeth. Uh, do teeth really have skin? I don't know. That makes me feel weird. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. So, anyway, Yamatai. All right. Um... You last time we played this, I beat you by twenty points. You did, um, you but did. we were much closer this time. And actually, it felt like a much tighter game. I'm on to your old tricks. You are. You're on to all of my tricks. I wear my strategy on my sleeve. Yes, yeah, sometimes you have to. All it's all been revealed, so now I know how to. I have to counter it all. I know. All right. Well, it makes it more fun. Yep. So let's actually let's talk about replayability then. Sure. Because this game did play a little differently then. Yeah. Um, you know what? I think. I mean, I think this this game, uh, and I'm going to go out and just say that, you know, I, I think it's it, it lends, in its current form, I think it lends for, like, some pretty, you know, average replayability. I agree. Right? I, didn't, yes. I wouldn't say it's, like, super, super, you know, extremely high, but, I mean, the game plays slightly different every time, but you're, you're getting a similar experience. You know what? Every time. Yeah, I mean, I think you know what kind of buildings are going to come out. Yeah. You know what kind, you always have the same specialists. There's no real variability with the exception of when they come out. So like there was one I was actually waiting for right. that multiplies your, uh, like your fans, like your, your prestige, points, points, your prestige yeah. points by two, which is, it would have been a good bump. That would have, that would have had you, that would have let you win. Yeah. Um, but for all intents and purposes, I think you can kind of expect what if the experience is going to be like. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's not. A so, bad thing no, to have average replayability. No. It's just it's That's just not it like extremely high. It's not, it's not a different game every time you play it. So if you know you're going to have a similar experience, mm -hmm. but you've got a different group of people, that's fine. You know what I mean? And it's it's it, but it's not a game that plays very quickly. 
Right. So that you just want to keep getting it yeah. together. Because it takes a while for the game to progress to its uh -huh. its final stage where things start to really spiral and then the end game like creeps up on you as you right, saw. Right, right, yeah. It so. really Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> anyway. as replayability. Alright, uh, how about weight? Weight. Uh this is kind of a I'd say it's like a medium weight game. Yeah, I was gonna say it's. I don't know what you were gonna say about it. I don't think it's necessarily a difficult game to no, learn. No, no. But I think I, the strategy. The is strategy's there. I think heavier. it depends on who you're playing with. Again. Yeah. Uh, I mean, us playing together, mm -hmm. we're kind of like on the same, you know, par. We're on par with each other. I don't know. On strategy the same wise. Par, yeah. <laughs> My idioms are like a mess to make so like, <laughs> It's all good. Anyway. It's all good, man. Um, but, you know, if you're playing with somebody who maybe isn't used to like an area control type of game or doesn't understand how to build an engine or something, you're definitely going to run away with. Yeah, if you're not, points, if you're not so. paying attention to what the other players are doing mm -hmm. um, and actively blocking mm -hmm. some of their strategies, you will yeah. get steamrolled. Right. Right. So that that's where the weight comes in because you right. need to be aware of this and you need to know and anticipate these strategies unfolding. Exactly. Uh, because if you don't stop them, you're going to get crushed. Right. So it might seem like a harder game depending on who right. you're playing with. Um, all right. Components. Components. I mean, Days of Wonder, you know, has a quality of game that we we come to expect, mm -hmm. right? So um, it's right on on par with all of their other works, which is very good. That's yes. not a, an average thing. That's a good thing. So their comp component quality is well above average. Cardstock is very thick. The art's mm -hmm. beautiful. Art's gorgeous. The colors the, are yeah. pretty. The the wood meeples, the boats, uh -huh. like everything's very detailed. It's missing a, a score sheet. So I know. I'm like, <laughs> it's just... kind of a I don't know. That's a big miss in my book because at the end of the game, you kind of need to add this stuff up and you want to track your scores. Yeah. Um, but. What are you gonna do? Right. So, but component quality. Other than that, mm -hmm. very good. The only other thing was the was that the some of the culture tokens yeah, that's good. matched a little bit too much. So, I mean, there were other colors I think they could have used to make them a little different, or at least make yeah. the shape different or something. Right. Um, but it, I mean, if I had to critique one thing, that's probably yeah. What and I would been. critique the other thing in that you in a two-player game you have to be orange and. What was I, blue? Yeah, like turquoise. Yeah, turquoise. Yeah. You have to be those two colors. You can't be purple or gray. Yeah. Because they don't give you enough pieces to play a two-player game. Right. So you absolutely cannot play with those two other colors. Yeah. Period. Not that it, I mean, it doesn't matter per se, what because you, everyone's, like, everybody's kind of different. I mean, everybody's the same. They're not different. But, um, you know, but if you had a preference or if you were... Yeah, if you have issues a, if you have a, those colors a color preference or, in a two-player you know. game, like you kind of want to play with that color, and you can't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you're always purple when you play. You can't be right. that color. It's just weird. And it like messes with you. It does. Yeah, if, that, if that is something that that's, concerns you, then that is something that's that you should enough, not Because they're yeah. not. They only give you enough pieces yeah. to play. You know, so many players. It's a very economical decision. I think, very. Yeah. I think so. Anyway. All right. Anything else on like components? No, I think that's. All it. right. Let's talk setup. So it takes a little while. But not overly long. Yeah, not that long. Maybe like... It's just setting out the culture tokens, really, honestly, and, and getting the stuff out of the box. Five to seven minutes yeah. is probably about how much right. time it'll take to set it up. It's just getting all those culture tokens out of the board, flipping them over, setting that up, and you know, getting all the boats ready in, in piles. But that's not Right, it's not a big deal. Pretty simple. All right. Um, audience? Who's this uh, for? So this is like most of our midweight games, right? So this is for your... I wouldn't say your ultra casual player but someone who's mm -hmm. not a stranger to board games would be good right. here's the thing if if you know anyone who's played in like five tribes yeah this is kind of <laughs> in very, that same vein <laughs> yeah very much in that same vein it's it's got a similar feel but it's different enough that it's it's unique um but it's a lot like five tribes right yeah we'll leave it at that the specialist the jins right kind of one of the same but in any case, same designer, all that stuff. Yeah, but that helps. you'll get that same vibe. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, fun factor. Did you have fun? It's a fun game. There's no question. It is. Yeah, it it really is a fun game. It's it's tough. Yeah, I think and that it, it's the game is not tough. It's preventing your your opponent from running away with the game. That's it's, what's tough. Well, here's the thing. Here's the difficult thing. I think it's, and maybe this is the hallmark of a, of a good game, right? Mm -hmm. It's doing the things that you need to do to build your own engine and progress yourself while still ensuring that your opponent is not 
doing that, you know, like exploiting right. the voids that you're creating in creating your yeah. engine. So if you're you know solely I mean? focused so on your own engine, your, your opponent could opponent easily run away with it. Could run away with it. But they could also, yeah, if they, especially if they're blocking you while you're only focused exactly. on your engine. Right. Right. So Agreed. that, yeah, the difficulty is definitely there. Yep. Um, but also the fun. Yeah, I, I agree. Right? It's very, it's a fun game. Okay. Um, so conclusions. Conclusions. What so do you think? I think I liked it, and I think Me you too. know uh, this was another one of your choices from from the Gen Con, right? This was one of my choices from the Gen Con. It was. Yes. Yes, and I liked it. Yeah. So that's okay. good. Um, and I I been wanting to get it to the table because I, mm -hmm. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I think I was happy with what the game ended up being, which is okay, good. Okay, cool, yeah. Uh, which is very good. So I think right. overall, if I were to put a rating on this one, which I am right now. Okay, I didn't know if you were gonna like push that I'm not gonna throw it push that No, I won't do that to you again. again. Uh, but I am gonna go with a similar rating. I think this is a great game. I would agree. You know, I don't yeah. think it, it has any standout um, mm -hmm. characteristics that, that would lead this to, for me to go out to the outstanding category, but it's it's good. I think I think a, one or two expansions down the road this thing could be really good mm -hmm. if they added some more depth to it, some more variability. I think that's where it kind of lacks, mm -hmm. but but otherwise it's still a great game to play. It's fun. Uh, yeah. Like I said, if you like Five Tribes, this is, you know, uh, it's a no-brainer. You pick it up, right? Yeah. So. All right. Sounds cool. good. I agree. Awesome. There you go. Siamatai. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the playthrough, and we will see you next time. See ya.